Hello everyone and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuked and today we're going to learn the very basics of Comfy UI, a node-based user interface for stable diffusion that provides much greater control over image generation than any other UI. Comfy UI was created in January 2023 by Comfy Anonymous who developed this tool to understand how our stable diffusion works and to showcase its power. To give you an idea of how powerful it is, it's used as an internal testing tool by the creators of stable diffusion. You might seem challenging at the beginning, but with a little practice and some basic knowledge, you'll not only be able to replicate what you can typically do with Automatic 11.11, but also much, much more. So, let's get started. First, we need to install Comfy UI on your PC. And to do this, simply download the archived from their GitHub and extract it on your computer. That's it. I'm not joking. Inside the extracted folder, go to Comfy UI. Uh, if you're starting from scratch, download a model from Civitai.com and place it inside the checkpoints folder within the models folder. Uh, alternatively, if you already have your models in the automatic 11.11 folder, just rename the file without the dot example extension, open it, and modify the base path to point to the main automatic 11 folder on your PC. Uh, save and close the file. Now, when you start Comfy UI, it will see everything you had on the other side. Now, run the script in the main route based on your system to launch Comfy UI. You'll see an interface with a basic example, um, but we want to start from scratch. So click on Clear and then OK. So to understand Comfy UI, you need to know that nodes are blocks that execute code. They can have inputs and outputs of different types and are connected through these. To load our first node, you can right click in an empty space go to nodes and manually find what interests you or double click in an empty space again and search for it. The first fundamental node we need to load is the load checkpoint, which helps us choose the model we'll use. The dots on the right represent the outputs of this node, in this case, model, clip, and VAE. The next nodes we'll load are the ones representing positive and negative prompts. In Comfy UI, both are represented by the clip texting code node loaded twice. A neat trick to avoid searching for the same node multiple times is to press Alt and drag the node you want to duplicate, and it's duplicating. Additionally, you can rename and color all nodes as you like to keep things organized. Now we can proceed to make our first connection uh, by linking the clip output of load checkpoint with the input clip of the clip text in code nodes. And uh, the third node is the case sampler or the case sampler advance, depending on how specific you want to modify parameters. This node instructs the model loaded initially, providing the necessary inputs to generate the image. Here you have parameters like the number of steps, the choice of sampler, and the seed. Uh, here we can connect the model and the two props. Uh, the fourth essential node we need to load is the empty laden image representing the initial noise from which everything starts. By selecting the dimensions of this laden image, you're automatically choosing the dimensions of your final image. Uh, this node should also be connected to K-Sampler in latent image. The fifth fundamental node is the VI decoder, which decodes the image generated by the model and released by K-Sampler. It's important to note that the VAE was initially a separate file from the model. So if you're using an older model, you should not only download it and place it in the VAE folder of Comfy UI, but also load it using the load VAE node as if it were a separate model. Alternatively, for newer models, you can use the VAE field of the load checkpoint. Finally, the last essential node is the save image. 
which shows us the final result and can save it to a file. If you don't want to save the image, you can use the preview image node instead. Here, simply connect the image fields. The collection of all nodes used in Comfy UI is called a workflow, which can be saved using the dedicated Save button. It's also embedded in the images you generate. So be careful when sharing the original images if you don't want to make your workflow public. Now, let's try generating an image from a simple prompt. Click on Chew Prompt and wait. And, th and then, you know, of course, this is just a basic example that, that doesn't show you the trick potential of Comfy UI. If you want to see something truly impossible to achieve in other UIs, you can load the workflow of a sample image provided in the Comfy UI documentation. And in short, this example demonstrates how in a single step, we can separately choose four backgrounds, combine them to form a single image, and add a foreground character with its own prompt. Uh, the result is incredible, and I believe it uh, perfectly demonstrates how much freedom Comfy UI provides to the user. That's it. I hope this tutorial helped you learn the very basic of Comfy UI. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And as always, keep dreaming. <laughs>